Hello and welcome to Lit 214 GH. This is Regional Literature. I am your instructor, Benjamin Barkholt, and I wish to give you a quick overview of how a week in uh, Literature 214 sort of unfolds. This week's gonna be a little bit different because we're starting um, on a Wednesday and we have Labor Day weekend, so we don't have class on Monday. And so everything is going to be pushed one day into the into the you know deeper into the week than a typical week will. So we will have um, access to the course on a Wednesday. So our week starts on a Wednesday. Um, the discussion board prompt posts, which are here, um, will be due on Friday. That'll normally be Thursday. And then the course will wrap up this coming Tuesday, where normally it'll wrap up for the week on a Monday. So keep that in mind. I hate to start with an exception to the rule, but it tends to be the case here. Um, so every week I'm going to give a quick checklist um, over your reading list, discussion boards, journal rights, et cetera. You can see I still need to actually populate the, the reading list, but um, the reading is actually in the week, so it's, it's you kind of get it. Um, so your reading list is here. It'll tell you what we're going to read for the week. In this case, it tends to be, it's actually these two excerpts. Each one's about 25 to 40 pages. Um, these are public domain um, Native American stories from Montana, Blackfeet, um, as well as some Chippewa and, and other types in there as well. Um, and these two, these two men also have names that end up being uh, sort of synonymous with the area and some of our landmarks. Um, they, were, they were sort of famous in their day for the connections that they made and then the stories that they shared. Um, nevertheless, we have some Native American creation stories um, and some why stories. That'll be a lot of fun. On Friday, you're going to post your discussion board post. And this is actually the prompt. So you're going to click on introductions and you'll hit the compose button. It'll bring up a dialogue box where you answer, you answer the, the introduction questions here. And typically the first week with the introductions, it's, it doesn't have to be too heavy, but as we get into more um, philosophical or um, educational discussions, you're going to want to think of these as um, 200 to 250 words for the prop post and 100 to 150 words for the peer post. So that brings us to next Tuesday. Next Tuesday, three things we'll be doing. You're going to go back into introductions. You're going to select two of your peers, two people um, who have posted. You're going to read their post and you will hit reply. That is a peer post. So you're posting to a peer. Do not, it does not count if you respond to someone who's responded to your prompt post. So if you post and they say, hey, this is great, you know, and they put in their 100 words, you can't say thanks and have that count as a post. You also create a journal write and post this to, um, to this assignment. The assignments, if it doesn't have a link here, then the assignments, you can go to there, this assignments link up here, and choose that first week journal write, journal write number one. And if you can, save them as PDFs. Um, later in the semester, we will have five to 10 of these, which will need to be uploaded into an assessment folder. So um, save them on your own, upload them to here, preferably as a PDF or preferably as a PDF. And then complete the quiz on next Tuesday. There's a 10 point, 10 questions, it's not 10 questions because one's worth multiple points. There's a 10 point quiz, comprehension quiz. It's basic comprehension for the materials. It can be open book, I don't mind because um, I don't really feel like policing you, but it's just a comprehension quiz. And so the discussion board is worth 10 points a week. The quiz is worth 10 points a week. The journals are worth 20 points a week. And there will be some longer assignments along the way as well. But this is the basic ebb and flow of your Lit 214 classroom. Uh, look forward to seeing you next week. Have fun.